and made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread excuse me and he made them a feast and they he did bake unleavened bread and they did eat but before they laid down the men of the city even the men of Sodom this is what you tune, we're tuning into but the before they lay down the men of the city even the men of Sodom come past the house round both old and young all the people from every quarter and they called unto Lot and said unto him uh, where are the men which came in uh, to thee this night bring them out unto us that we may know them and Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said I pray you brethren do not so wickedly okay here we go real quick for the sake of the time of this video peer pressure all of these men um have uh, encompassed uh lot's house they think that he has two men there's some homosexuality going on here and they want those two men there are strangers passing through they want them to come out so they can do their biddings with them and bring them into the fold while uh lot comes to the door and the uh, and keep in mind uh, these are actually not two men they're angels they are god has sent them to destroy the city because of the prevalence of homosexuality in it um however so now uh these two men they go uh they go they go into the house or two angels rather but they think that they're men and um they beat uh the the other guys, they're, they're all around Lot's house. They beat on his door. Lot goes out to the door. And instead of, you know, he could have said easily, uh, an example of giving in to peer pressure, he could have said, well, you know what? I, hey, you got, it's, it's so much more of them. There's nothing I can do. They run the city. And I'm sure that it was some sort of kind of like cult click, click, not really a cult, but click. Um, and he could have said that, but he, he, uh, stands his ground and he petitions the men not to do so that it is wicked and that it is evil um, So that right there is a, a prime example of peer pressure That is something that we can listen to and it does not have to be dealing with homosexuality It can be dealing with something else, but those uh, clicks cliches um I'm not <laughs> clicks cult excuse me is the word not cliches <laughs> laughing at myself a minute there um but those are things we have to be careful groups um that push us into i don't know you know um oh my god i was just seeing on the news um a, a old documentary about the western guy out in california how he basically made a cult out of his own family and we see it all the time we see things going on um we've seen i don't you know uh we've i don't know how many mass murders we've seen and things like that from all behind peer pressure in some form or fashion um maybe the person sometimes it's not directly someone telling you maybe it's something that you feel from society or someone is telling you some sort of rejection or something like that so we have to be careful of those things. Um, peer pressure is definitely one what God laid on my heart that we can listen to that can cause us not to do the will of God. If God tells you to bless someone or if he tells you not to, to not to bless someone, if he tells you to go that way or not to go that way, uh, oftentimes peer pressure can uh, get us off track and knock us off track and can actually uh, scare us and uh, detain us from doing the will of God. So that's one thing that the Spirit laid on my heart to tell us to, uh, this week. Um, the second thing we're going to get into, um, please go with me to Mark 4. Mark 4, 38 through uh, 40. He tells me that our own destructive thoughts from our natural sight. This is something that can cause us not to do the will of God. Again, that's our own destructive thoughts thinking and it's due to our natural sight what we see naturally our perception of what what is going on okay and we're going to mark four um, 38 through 40 for this and here we'll be taking the disciples as examples um here we go kjv mark 4 38 i hope everyone's with me and he was in the hinder part of the ship 
asleep on a pillow and they awake him and said unto him master carest thou not that we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm verse 40 and he said unto them why are ye so fearful how is it that ye have no faith fear 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 and what does the word of god say god has not given us the spirit of fear from our natural sight that is that we're not worshiping god we're worshiping the enemy when we do that and sometimes we just have to block it out. We got to block it out. We got to kick it. We got to say, girl, bye. We got to say, boy, bye. We're not listening to that. I'm not perceiving that. <laughs> and I'm talking about us. I'm not talking about a girl or a guy. Or I'm talking about in our minds. I'm not, I, I'm not, uh, whether you be male or female. We got, we got to, we have to learn to activate our spiritual side. And that's what God has given me to tell us. So, number two, our own uh, destructive thinking from viewing and perceiving what our natural sight can get in the way. And listening to that can cause us not to do the absolute will of God or not to do the will of God. And the fear is actually a worship of the enemy. It's not a worship of him. So those is, that's something, number two, that we definitely want to keep in mind. The third thing that God has given me that can cause us, if we listen to it, it can cause us to go outside of the will of God, is the wrong information. And possibly sometimes from the wrong people. Sometimes it's the right people, just the wrong information. <laughs> Uh, you um, just 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 let it marinate okay <laughs> now okay so here on um, for this one we're gonna use caleb as an example and actually well actually we'll be using the children of israel but caleb is of course he's gonna take the forefront numbers 13 most of you know this 13 30 through uh 33 give you a little time if you guys are because I, I don't know about you but I like to pull up my scripture when someone's reading if I could get to my bible or in time I like to pull it up so if you want to be with me on it try to give give a little bit of time all right numbers 13 and that is 13 we're gonna do 30 through 33 and it reads and Caleb's the people before Moses and said let us go up at once and possess it for we are well able to overcome him but the men that went up with him said we be not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we and they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own side as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. Here again, God says if we listen to the wrong information, it can cause us to go outside of the will of God or to do something other than what God would have us to do the wrong information can cause us to worship the enemy the wrong information listening to the wrong information again the with fear we had fear in the other in uh, the 
and two which was our own but this is a little bit of fear and doubt 